I am absolutely fantastic. First of all, apologies for not being able to make it on Thursday. I am genuinely sincerely uh sincerely there was Jilo. I'm sincerely sorry. Yeah. I'm very very sorry. Apology accepted. Accepted. Sasa tunaanza. Sasa tunaanza. How was your day? Uh, I spend the better part of my day doing nothing. Mm-hmm. After waking up, doing my show in the morning, the rest of the day, I was doing nothing. Nothing. I was eating and other things. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> What are those other things? <laughs> those other things were revolving around kuzunguka kazi, kusumbua watu, finding out new vocabularies, sharing memes, and other things. Oh, nice. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> nice. We want to start it easy. I want to okay. find out who is Aziza Hashim. How do you mm. introduce yourself? Jamin we pen up esteem precious mm-hmm. cherished who is Aziza Hashim. Um first of all, she is a very short person for every single person who sees those angles on social I media. You I don't know, know why it's <laughs> you. This photo is light to us. I get it. I get it. <laughs> every single time I meet someone I'm like, "Oh, you're so short." Mm. So number one, I'll start with the fact that I'm five One round it off guy, to the nearest. Guy. No, let's round it off, man. If I if I used to if I round it off to the to something that favors me, it has got to be five two. What? I am twenty uh, <laughs> years old. Wow. I am a radio presenter. I am a TV presenter as well. I'm a content producer, an MC. That's corporate MC strictly, mm-hmm. a voiceover artist, and uh, an overall introvert. Introvert. That's something that a lot of people don't believe. It actually depends. If you don't talk to me, I usually have social anxiety, so I won't come talk to you. Mm. So most of the time, I am just at home. If I'm not working, I am boring like that. You and I? Twins. Same, same. We are twins. Of ngwe group at weke wa wili at weke. No me to party introduction yet I'm like, "Eh, can you boring them what am I?" Super boring. It's super boring, extremely. We we yeah. still love you. Hi. But I will jump show fury. I jump show fury. It's 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 fresh. It's fresh. But before you became all of those things, Aziza was born, went to school. I want to hear that story. Okay, so throughout my entire life I've been an A student. I was a bookworm. Like nearly kwa wale wa say our kwana bonga kwa class. I used to be the people who used to sit at the front of the class who used to Okay, I never used to answer all the questions because I never wanted to speak because I had such a deep baritone and especially coming from someone who was so tiny, it used to damage my confidence a lot. So, I was always buried in my books, never used to play much except for football. I used to play football a lot. I was a typical tomboy. And I'll show you a picture to prove it. Yeah, so um I always grew up Uh, knowing that I just had to get good grades, go to a national school, do medicine, and all of that shebang. But now, after Kufanga Isovi to Zote, I discovered that that was not for me. But after finishing high school, I didn't know what was for me. At the back of my mind, I used to admire a lot of these media personalities, the likes of Caroline Motoko, the likes of Bonang Meteba from South Africa, the likes of Kutso Teledi from South Africa, because all of them have such... powerful voices and yeah. to hear them actually gave me confidence kuongea kama mwanaume unajua vinge when i was a kid nilikuwa najaribu kuongea akiwa lai unajua and then my aunt used to tell me wacha kutuna jo kwa na bez ongea ka unaongea yeah so my childhood was centered on so much love on uh, a lot of books now finally after finishing high school i was meant to do aviation but with the line of career that my dad is doing he told me to wait until he's ready he had the cash but he basically didn't pay for me to go to aviation school we still have a bone to pick over there but i'm i'm over it right now uh-huh. my mom was the one who proposed that i try out journalism but all of my friends were doing this amazing courses in engineering in law and everything and you're going to tell people you got an a to go and do journalism <laughs> are you freaking mm. serious So eventually ended up in journalism interned for so many things and the rest is history. History. Where were you born? I, I was, was born Nilizaliwa uh, <laughs> at the heart of Isli. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's a hospital in Itomari stops. Mm-hmm. 
iko tu is Linda Kas. Yeah, nilizaliwa Maristops. <laughs> Nikalelewa majengo. Najua najua the Maristops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but nililelewa majengo for some part of my life. Kalif for a larger part of my life alafu dada kaomoka ndo at least hey. akatutoa kalif uh-huh. yeah how was life in kalif ah jamani jamani ah, jamani ah, mambo yote nakwambia kalif ilikuwa inashika jamani and when i was a kid tuli grow up ile time yenye kalif records ilikuwa ime boom sana mm. So I feel that was when I fell in love with uh, entertainment kwa sababu nyuma ya madrasa yetu ndo no nini alikuwa anaishi and yeah. then kwa hiyo the same place like a lot of the people ambao tulikuwa tunaona kimziki we could see the music videos being made we could see everything revolving around what formed uh, the larger part of the entertainment industry and the music industry at the time so Khalif was Amazing mafia zikarai bagia matobosha mpampe upo. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, so that was kind of for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Me I'm still starstruck, but anyways, um let's say he time uko high school and everything, unamaliza. So if someone came and asked you like where is this who will kufanya nini? Apart from wasaya kukwambia jana lazima aviation mm-hmm. nini? What did you want? Where where mwenyewe? Like deep down. To be honest, I wanted to be a pilot so that yeah. I could prove a lot of people wrong because uh if you follow on the requirements of aviation and for you to be a pilot, shot people. Shot people. Where the shot jokes? Shot people. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so I just wanted to prove a point with aviation, yeah. but at the end of the day, wallahi, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life other than aviation, nothing. But all of my books in Kwas Medical Harvard Medical School up. I still have them to date. Yeah. Elkan Medical up. That was how legit serious I was about medicine, but yeah. it was a dream that was given to me. It wasn't basically mine. Oh okay so to get than ya university so yeah. university umamo unafanya course gani sasa sasa ni apply journalism in yeah. faculty transfer ile kwa ngori kiasi kwa sababu sasa unapata yeah. unaendaje kuambia wasi ati unatoka medicine nataka yeah. munifanye in faculty transfer ya journalism sasa unaona ni ka kuna venye akili <laughs> eh, kidogo yeah. i z ini ni gani shout out eh? to you you ah yeah, bado imagine hata bado si graduate university of nairobi <laughs> 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 oh my goodness but I ended up doing parallel. Okay. So most of my classes ilikuwa yoni usiku oh, okay. from like 5 p.m. onwards. Yeah. So I did journalism. Yeah. I am still doing journalism until I finally decide to graduate. Yeah. Inshallah inshallah to graduate. Inshallah, <laughs> inshallah to graduate. Anyway, sasa let's talk about now your journey to nini e journalism vile umanza radio station. So ulianza pia uko zile za Mhm. Sasa nataka kuingia like it, it's one thing to say yeah. and it's another thing to like actions put yeah. in, like put whatever you're saying. So ni point gani uliamua ah sasa lazima niingie kwa studio sasa. Mhm. Ni point gani ilianza? Am I allowed to mention the names of other media houses because yes, of conflicts yes, of interest? Yes, you can. Okay, sawa sawa. So I started off at an online station and yelikuwa inaitwa Campus Radio. Yeah. So I was given a one hour show yeah politics that had no music whatsoever. Oof. So one hour non-stop talking and at the time siko atana content. So you can all you can only imagine because most of the people were like ah kuna sauti tafi na katu siasa. So of course we applied nile pia pressure uh, post time to mwaka group ya UN nini nini tukaenda sote kambogi. So kila mtu alikuwa na show in our class in that particular uh, online radio station ilikuwa inapakana na compact records they sponsored it for a while so that's where i got to meet a few of the contacts and networks that i got to form in the music industry then it only lasted for a month uh and then they decided to relocate they didn't tell us where so <laughs> i went to another online radio station no another online tv station as a content curator it was like a whatsapp studios Where? So I never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to meet also other people but as a kazi yangu ilikuwa I'm not on air when ikutafutia wase content. 
and then you give it to them and then they go on air and do the thing so after that a friend of mine akafungua radio station so post post before and like umesema ulikuwa online curator hivyo yeah so like how did you feel like moving from kukua kwa mic sasa unaanza kutafutia wa say content let me tell i was still not confident like nilikuwa naona how i say anaweza wacha wao wafanye mimi naweza kuwa kwa back end because at the end of the day different people uh, believe in themselves differently Yeah. Let me not lie. Sikwa na Jamini Evoca presenter at the time. I thought they were way better than me. So I was yeah. like I would be better on the back end. Yeah. So I kwa na Numa. So trendelea zani. Yep. So real quick and yeah. summary to Kisonganga. Yeah. A friend of mine opened up a radio station akanieka on breakfast and uh from for him he always believed that I that I belonged on breakfast but yeah. still hapa si kwa na Jamini alikuwa anashangaa sasa wewe but unajua wewe ni best yangu so nitafanya juu jua kuna mtu mwingine so after that went to another and another online radio station Mstar Radio nikatoka hapo tukaenda uh, an online TV station jo Mstar walifunga waka rebrand wakafunga so i went to Fomo TV but then when i approached them i was like me at a stakim nilipe all through siati ilikuwa nalipwa single cent ilikuwa kujitolea tu and the passion that you have for radio so went to formo tv but at the same time i was working with xiaomi as a marketing uh, assistant, assistant marketing manager they were paying really well and you were doing a lot of things from uh, marketing to coming up with the campaigns and all of that so you ndio kwanza nipatia do alafu huku kwa formo tv nafanya passion yeah. so nazungua kila pali so I was like i don't want you guys to pay me at all this is what i love yeah. pali yote nyenye mnaenda kwa my events ni mimi nataka tu kuinterview wa say na mnipatie tu microphone end of story So I went everywhere they used to go for absolutely no pay and I'm glad that I did it because there's value in networks. Yeah. The networks I got there I believe contributed in one way or the other to the jobs I have right now because people see you in yeah. your element and that's why the one on a near familiar face situmpatie so ujo I believe those are the conversations that people have behind closed doors on your behalf because they've already seen you. So from there got into auditions on auditions on auditions i've auditioned for literally any single station and you equal on air rights now they was angu nimetumwa killer pale mpaka wengine wanauza kwani tumnaleta anga bado ma dvd ni more way kwani uko century gun you go take a flash disk they throw it outside the window so it's been hella hectic but the journey has been worth it So like is it times auto on and station unapata inafungwa inafungwa did, did it like uh, nini loyal confidence at some point like cuz it was a i man they f journalism at this point yeah to a great extent to the point that nilikuwa nimeachana nayo kabisa nikasema acha ni focus na marketing jundo iko na do at the moment jundo ananilipa but then my mom has been my biggest support system yeah. and she believes in me more than anyone else and i literally quit my well paying job to do radio for free to do a drive show for free completely and my dad gave me three months to figure out my life if i don't get a job i have to quit journalism and so i had three months and within three months i actually managed to audition and get into ibru and that is what saved me waziza <laughs> waziza <laughs> not really from 2017 to 2020 i was seriously tamaking with nothing there were days that i remember there was a daily tembea kutoka south b a d kanivo route 11 like una una chapa to route 11 jumme pato call time ya 7 am na sayo nimeva wig vizuri makeup everything i don't want everyone to know that seen affair yeah. So carried my heels kwa bag na tembea na flats maka kani nifike before everyone so that one eh amefika mapema she's dedicated but the thing is I didn't have transport to take me here for sure na lolo na tunapanga slides kila siku tunatembea na pia sisi we yako yango ni fashion so sana so let's talk about energy sasa your process what what happened as in nimechikisa nini uli audition mara ya kwanza pili kadinda 
So ibo ni ambie mara ya kwanza kulianda aje. Eh mara ya kwanza yenyewe sikuwa naweza. Like sikuwa <laughs> naweza. I looked at beat ka nonsense. So that was 2018. Uh-huh. And then sikuwa tana confidence again. Yeah. I wasn't so confident in myself. Na pale I wanted to take my L in private. So what we did, I have a class which was very very confident. Okay, ni former classmates now because yeah, yeah. he graduate Miss Ja graduate. Yeah, so tuka shikana mikono pamoja, tuka tuma video tukiwa pamoja. So at okay, na YouTube to na wameandika two kids yeah. audition for energy. Are you the two kids? Yeah, the two kids. I am one of the two kids who lacked zero confidence, didn't know what to say on air and oh my god, to me talk Kambali. We uh second nini second time. Second time. Okay, first time was in 2018. Say you told come fungua MVP za kwanza. Second time was in 2019. Still auditioned via his page. At least the first time we made it to top 100 and we were we actually even went for the recross concert. Alafu tukashindwa hapo. Lakini uh 2019 I didn't even make it to top 100. Like wow. mimi hata hawako niona nikiwa fit amongst the first 100 people na unadhani hata ume ume prove kiasi. So 2020 there were no MVPs then finally yeah. 2021 yeah. I was supposed to record it with my friend but then there was covid so oh, ali yeah. record kivya ke mimi na sha post I'm like guy sasa nta do So uh, my friends at Ibru really encouraged me to just post the video whatever happens happens at least you'll be taking your Ls and yeah. finally feel what it feels to get an L so I finally applied and that was when I got into energy Hey congrats hey. Mm-hmm. Apo, apo, congrats and yeah. hey hey It's a journey So at this point it ulianza kupata confidence lini like at what point William comes a Godzilla Did hey. you like sit down behind the mic and yeah. you hear how powerful your voice is and very Not rich? really Could you even like till yeah. now I cannot <laughs> listen to myself okay. What yeah. I cringe at listening mm. to myself because I'm my biggest critic so me no nanga to makosa because after every okay every week we usually have a listening party where we listen back to our maybe an episode of our show ama tunakata our three the entire week so we listen to the links so to not mfanya wapi makosa those are the worst days of my life because I never want to listen to myself speaking yeah. But to answer your question, yeah. uh, I believe when I got into Hebrew, there's power in learning and getting more knowledge because yeah. only then will you have more confident to speak your mind and speak whatever it is that you actually want to put across. Okay, on a content kwa kili confidence it'll come through. Okay, on a content and yeah, at a confident kwa tafuta na kuangori kidogo. Hey, wisdom. Yeah. Anyways, um moving Ibru is another like a whole journey sasa yeah. mega TV sasa like yep. TV. So how do, how is that transition from radio sasa to TV? Pali wasi wana kuona like hapo. Mhm. Wezi mess, wezi fanya nini uki yeah. mess up. So how was it actually? For me getting into Ibru was a platform to get into radio. Okay. Like my end goal was always to get on radio, radio because I loved radio more than anything else. But uh getting into Ibru tulikuwa tunaingia kwa show flani yenye ilikuwa na like eight eight hosts in one show. Ilikuwa inaitwa Chit Chat. Those guys are still my family to date. I love every single one of them to bits. But after doing two episodes the boss was like uh, we need you to try out a screen test for news. I had never seen a teleprompter in my life. <laughs> So na mbwa soma tu hizo hizo vitu zina zina you are and by them naita jukushughulikia tunayo teleprompter nokta na wase wa daystar wase wa daystar oh so this is the auto queue auto what guy me yeah auto ngoa me sijui auto what but then read it alongside other people then on monday they told me to report for Uh, as a news reporter yeah. so nikaanza kama reporter then na mkatoa asubuhi ibro everything was baptism by fire so nimekuja on monday when yeah. reporter enda kwa ground sijui hata kuandika story so na shanga story tuandikaje but we had such an amazing team at ibro yeah. in the newsroom walikuwa wanaka chini kunifundisha yeah. and we used to work six days a week so i basically had no social life 8 a.m. 8 p.m every single day only one off day so na split up a boyfriend una split um my best zako na split kulala kufua your parents your family and everything all in one day but at the end of the day i believe nilipata the most experience at ibro cuz as a news reporter ulikuwa unaandika news stories za english na pia unaandika za kiswahili 
na una voice ya English na Kiswahili you cut your bites like the most important things umetumwa kwa presser ya sijui health officers wamesema sijui ni tafuta story kwa hiyo kitu ya health officers usha ushaenda ushawasikiliza look for an yeah. angle for it yeah. then write it in English translate it to Kiswahili voice it in English voice it in Kiswahili edit your voice so you're a reporter i wake up in the morning number by that uh kuna issue ya asubuhi it was like a mid morning kind of show 11 yeah. to like 1 yeah uh, i think it was 11 to 1 yeah, yeah. 11 to 1 ah. unaambiwa uh, leo unaenda unaenda onea kwa hiyo show na wanaongelea siasa I know nothing about what is happening. At that moment me liko na jo tu president ni nani, deputy president ni nani. So nimechanganikiwa na umekwa hewani but will you refuse? No. no. So you've always wanted the opportunity mm-hmm. and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Gather yourself, mm-hmm. call up my dad by then niambie kitu yote yenyemekwa ki happen kwa siasa. But luckily the co-host who was there was really really holding my back and then yeah. after that nilikuwa nasoma notes comes ya ko shule. <laughs> so got the hang of it yeah. got to do the mid morning show and then again after like a, two weeks mm. now by the ukimaza hiyo show when on anchor 1 pm sawa what they were like okay fine hold up composure you're doing it so everything was basically baptism by fire so ibra was doing so many things you're a news anchor you're a news reporter bado utaenda kwa ground kwa field unaweza ambio enda kwa gallery u direct news I'm a direct Kenyan in Delia so you had so many skills yeah. that literally set me apart from other people because I can yeah. be a content producer yeah. nikitaka na as a direct unaweza fanya news unaweza host show unaweza host radio and so many other things Dao at only 23 umefanya hizi vitu zote Jesus anyways let's get back. what uh, let's take a music break banai You hear? Hapa ndo tasemanga I hope kupoa here is Ethan Muziki kidogo